Hi guys, it's Miss Swenson again. Today we're going to have a lesson on relating addition to multiplication. Our essential question for today is how is multiplication like addition and how is it different? So with that in mind, we are going to write an addition sentence and a multiplication sentence for a model. So let's get started by talking about multiplication. What is multiplication? Well, simply put, multiplication is a way of combining equal groups. So let's look at the actual definition. The definition of multiply is to combine equal groups to find how many in all. And it is the opposite of division. We're combining equal groups, like this example right here, to find how many in all. Now look, let's look at the next word. It's factor. A factor is a number that is multiplied by another number to find a product. So here's an example multiplication problem. The factor here is 4 and the other factor is 3. A number that is multiplied by another number to find a product. That is a factor. And then we're going to look at the final word, product. I'm going to put it over here because product is the answer in a multiplication problem. So we have our two factors that are multiplied together and they give us the product. Remember the product is the answer in a multiplication problem. Let's look at our first question. Anna needed three apples to make one apple cake. Each cake has the same number of apples. How many apples does Anna need to make four cakes? So first I need to think, what is the question asking me to find? The question is asking me to find how many apples are needed to make four cakes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw out my four cakes. One, two, three, four. So when I'm figuring this problem out, I'm going to draw out my four cakes. Now how many apples go into one cake? It says three apples to make one apple cake. So I would take my little pen and I'm going to draw in my three apples. One, two, three apples for that cake. One, two, three apples for that cake. One, two, three apples. And one, two, three apples. I have to have equal groups for this to be a multiplication and equal group problem. So I need to make sure all my cakes have the same number of apples. Now, once I've drawn my apples, I can figure out how many apples it takes to make my four cakes by combining all four cakes together. So in order to combine them, I'm going to do what's called repeated addition. And I'm going to take my repeated addition problem down here, and I'm going to put it together. All right, notice that I'm taking the three apples from this cake plus the three apples from this cake plus the three apples from this cake plus the three apples from this cake and that gives me 12 apples. This is repeated addition. That's one way we can use to solve this type of problem. However, there is another way to solve this problem. When you combine equal groups together, you can multiply to find how many in all. Remember we said multiply means combining equal groups to find how many in all. So we're going to think four groups of three because I have four groups, one, two, three, four groups, and each group has three items in it, three apples or three objects in each group. So I have four groups of three. When we look at a multiplication problem, here's our factors and here's the product. But the multiplication symbol, when we think of it, we need to think groups of when we look at it. So this would be four groups of three. This is the same as our picture, four groups of three, and that gives us the product of 12. So now looking at this same problem about Anna and her cakes, 
We've seen two different ways of finding the answer to this problem. We used repeated addition and we added all the apples up together. So 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 gave us our total of 12 apples. Or we used multiplication, 4 groups of 3 to find our product of 12. Of, of 12. Of 12. Now guys, what is my answer missing? It's missing the label. We cannot have naked numbers. 12 apples. Let's look at another multiplication problem. This is a model with one, two, three, four groups again. And this model has three stars in each group. So if I were to write this multiplication problem, I could write it like this. Four groups of three stars and that equals 12 stars. Okay, that's one way to write the multiplication problem and that is showing you the factors 4 and 3, those are the numbers that we multiply together to get our product which is 12. We can write multiplication problems from left to right, or we can write them vertically, which is up and down. We would have four groups of three, and get that gives us, again, the product of 12. So here's our four, our factor, our factor, and our product. And we got all of that information from this model here. Since our objective was to be able to write addition and multiplication sentences for different models, let's look at another one. This model has one, two, three groups. And in each group, there are three objects. So let's see what our sentence would be for this one. Our addition sentence, our repeated addition sentence would be, three, because I have three objects in that star, plus three circles in that star, plus three circles in that star, and that gives me a total of nine circles. I can use repeated addition to find that answer. I can skip count three, six, nine to find my answer, or I can now use multiplication. How many groups do I have? I have three groups of, how many in each group? Three circles in each group. That gives me a total of nine circles. My factors and my product, factor is three, factor is three, my product is nine. So I've just created two equations for this, a repeated addition and a multiplication. So our essential question for the lesson was how is multiplication like addition? Well, we figured out that they both find a total. We can use repeated addition to find a total or we can use the multiplication problem to find the total, but they both find how many in all. How are they different? Well, multiplication has to have equal groups. You can't have multiplication if any of the groups have a different number. All groups have to have the same number. Addition, however, can you can add when you have equal or unequal groups. I can have either one for addition, but I have to have equal groups for multiplication. So guys, just know that we can use repeated addition or multiplication to add equal groups together and find how many in all.